Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Ron with Tech Refresh, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tudia Glossed case for the Essential Phone. Tudia was nice enough to send us this case for us to review. So let's go ahead and start with a tour of the case. So starting out at the bottom, we have our cutouts for the speaker and the USB Type-C charger. Um, like on the back here, we have cutouts for the camera and the fingerprint sensor. And on the side here with the buttons, we have the volume rocker buttons and the power button as well as the 2D logo. So let's go ahead and fast forward a couple days to see how this case works out. So I had a chance to use this case for a couple days now. And let's see, one of the things that I really like about this phone is just like the overall design because you know this is um, like this backside is tempered glass but around it like on the on the edges it's rubber so you you get like a good grip on the phone when you're holding it but you know at the same time it's glossy on the back this is definitely gonna be prone to some fingerprints uh, I've experienced that myself but you know I can barely notice them because this is the gold color so I'm thinking if you select like a lighter color, you probably won't really notice the fingerprints as much as if you select like a darker color. So that's just something to note. Overall, I don't really have any complaints about this phone case. You know, it, it fits pretty snug around the phone, so it's not like it's going to fall out. Um, you know, I definitely like the different textures, you know, rubber on the side, so, you know, I can get a good grip, but then, you know, a nice glossy feel on the back so you know it still kind of feels premium um, the amount of bezels that this case adds is pretty minimal so it still maintains the design language of the phone the case also adds a slight lip on the screen side of the phone so you know if you set your phone down screen side down on a flat surface your screen won't be touching the surface same goes for the backside too, but the backside is done a little bit differently. Instead of having a lip all around, the corners of the backside are just raised slightly so that when you set your phone down, backside down, um, the tempered glass isn't really touching the surface, it's just kind of touching the edges. And last but not least, the buttons for the volume rocker and the power button, they feel really, really good. And all three of them are pretty consistent, so no issues there. But that's about it for the case. I mean, all in all, you know, I really like this case. So if, you, if you're looking for a case, I feel like this case would be good for somebody that really likes the feel of an essential phone without a case, but is used to having cases on their phone and would still like the phone with the case to feel like an essential phone because of the glossy back. And that's probably the best I could do to try to describe the case uh, without you actually feeling it in person. Um, but yeah, um, well, that's about it. If you guys have any questions or input, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. See ya.